Good morning, Magic. I'm Gavin Verhey from Wizards of the Coast. And in Strixhaven, we're doing something you haven't seen much of before, and that's colorless instants and sorceries. But why here and why now? Well, let's dig in today. In all of Magic history, there are very, very few instant and sorcery cards that do not have a colored mana symbol in their mana cost. And most of the time, they popped up around the Eldrazi, which is a really strong reason to have a colorless theme. But in Strixhaven, there are a number of colorless spells. And because I know you're all thinking it, the answer is no, by the way. Despite any landscape resemblances to Kozilek, there are no Eldrazi in this set. A really big theme of Strixhaven are instants and sorceries. And when something is your theme, it makes sense to do new or slightly different things in that theme than you might normally do otherwise. And in this case, colorless sorceries are really important because of the learn lesson mechanic. For constructed formats, like standard, it's really nice to know that you always have access to some baseline lessons for building your deck, no matter what colors you are. And for limited, it's really great to have lessons you can pick up and know that you can learn with if you need to. That way your learn will never run out of targets. Those are both also big reasons why a lot of these lessons are simple evergreen style effects. Now you might've noticed we've been doing a little bit of experimenting with colorless cards over the past year. For example, in Akoria, we had creatures that were colorless, not artifacts, just colorless. We're interested in using this where it makes sense. For example, on Akoria creatively, there aren't a lot of artifact creatures, so hey, doing colorless creatures made a lot of sense there. And here on Strixhaven, doing these made a lot of sense from a creative standpoint, and also definitely a mechanical one. Will you see them again? Well, certainly at some point in Magic's history, I imagine you'll see them again, but I wouldn't expect to see them that often. There isn't a ton of design space there, and we have to be very, very careful because if they're too strong, they'll show up in every deck. For example, the Phyrexian mana cards from New Phyrexia were a huge problem, and a lot of the spells in particular, cards like Dismember and Gataxian Probe started showing up all over the place because, well, any deck could just play them. And notably, while there were plenty of strong permanents with Phyrexian mana, the cards that really got us from a design perspective, I think, were the spells. Allowing every color the ability to kill something at instant speed with this member really breaks some fundamental rules of the magic color pie. So you won't see them all the time, but for now, enjoy the ones in Strixhaven. There are six in total in the set, and that means I think there's one you haven't seen yet. And sorry, fan theorists. Once again, no, the card has nothing to do with Eldrazi. But now I'm really curious to know, what do you all think about colorless instants and sorceries? Do you like them, dislike them? Let me know in the comments down below. And who knows, it might influence an upcoming magic set. I'll talk with you all again on Friday. And in the meantime, may you have a lot of fun with colorless spells. You got this. Hint number one. There is a mono white card that creates treasure. Hint number two. There are two cards which call back to the same mechanical reference as something in Future Sight. Hint number three. 